the night before my wisdom tooth removal. I'm not anxious or nervous. I feel maybe a little nervous, but I feel like it's gonna come tomorrow. I'm more stressed over hoping that we can get the teeth out quickly, like you're supposed to, and there's not gonna be any complications, and that I will heal quickly, but I'll see you tomorrow morning. If I wasn't nervous yesterday, I'm definitely nervous now. Yeah, but it's gonna go well. Let's go. <laughs> this is the fit for today. And I need to head out the door ASAP because otherwise I'm gonna be late. The actual operation was at 9.45, he was a little late, but the procedure only took under half an hour. Very quick, very efficient. I was a little swollen straight after the operation, as you can see here, and smiling really did hurt. I got back home, and I'm gonna change the thing to have in my mouth. I literally can't talk, so I literally can't feel my lips, or my chin feels the weirdest. We left straight to the summer cottage after the operation so that the numbing agent would still be working but it stopped working after two hours and i couldn't drink or eat for two to three hours so i was suffering until i could take my pain medication i'm starving i've been eating soup and ice cream and yogurt but i want like real actual food but i can't because i'm still pretty swollen in my teeth Hurt or my non-existent teeth hurt. This is a lifesaver, so I'm gonna eat some soup now because I'm just hungry. The first few days I ate so slowly that I felt like the turtle from Kung Fu Panda, this guy, you know? Uh, also the jaw lines matched pretty well because I was so swollen from both sides. Wow. <laughs> I do look like a chipmunk on this side. I am hurting, but not that bad. It's like a three out of 10. I've taken a uh, few medication, but anyway, we're gonna go to bed now. I'm just gonna leave it at, as it is. Hope I'm not gonna wake during the night and be in pain. I'm not supposed to brush my teeth, apparently. I'm not actually I'm not sure, sure what I'm supposed to do. This is what I'm gonna use. It's like a mouthwash. I hope it doesn't sting too bad. Cute color, let's brush our teeth. Shall we? I think that's it. I literally can't handle how swollen I am. The sores kind of restarted to hurt. I have an ice pack in here, but it's straight from the freezer, so I can't put it straight on my skin. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> The next morning when I woke up, I was swollen as frick. If you said I look like a pufferfish, a cardboard box, or Thanos, you would be correct. I am more swollen than yesterday, as you can probably see at least from this side. You can't see it as well on camera as in real life. And I'm still eating my soup, but today I'm trying to warm it up. Not, It's not hot, but it's not cold either. was day three post-operation and I started to get some bruising on my cheeks and I was still pretty swollen. Hi, it's Saturday. I just washed my hair and it's so smooth. I love it. My face is still a square or puffer fish or Thanos, whatever you want to call it. And it's still hurting, but every day is getting a little better. It still feels like I have two rocks on my face. This side is more swollen than this side and it hurts more to talk. Here you can see the bruises more clearly than the day before, but they are definitely also smaller. And here's a little montage of a bee, because it's cute. 
I could also eat solid food that day finally and it felt like such a victory. It is Monday, meaning five days post-op, and I'm still a little swollen, a little, just a little, but not much, okay? Uh, I think I provoked it a little by recording my podcast, you know, but um, first day without pain medication, hey, so slowly getting there, and I can eat solid foods, yes, looking a little less like a pufferfish or a cardboard box. Still getting a little Thanos vibes, but you know, that's fine. He's a handsome man. <laughs> I would rate this experience the actual removal of my teeth a minus two out of ten on this pain scale because I got two teeth removed and I didn't feel anything. Get it? The actual pain levels on the first day a nine out of ten. Solid was not fun, especially since I had to wait so that I could take my painkiller. But after that, it's been a pretty solid 3 out of 10 on the pain scale. 10 being the worst, 0 being nothing. I've healed faster than I thought. That was it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe for more quality content. Also, if you're watching all the way here, you're royalty for sticking all the way until the end. So comment down some crown emojis. I will see you next Monday in a brand new video. Until then, if you want to follow me on Instagram for some more material, it's called at Yasu Stories. And I also have a podcast, which I just talked about, called at Momfriend Hotline. I think today just came out a new episode, so you should definitely go and listen to that. Hopefully I'm not a pufferfish in the next vid. <laughs> See you, bye!